Hello and welcome to the Midwest Mainline. There's birds flying over, that's nice. <laughs> welcome to the final save of the uh, Midwest Mainline. Not the final episode, we still have uh, a few more penciled and there's the timing. Perfect. We have a vote to sort out, they, they've been counted. Okay, I haven't counted them, it's, it, YouTube does it for you, but... Uh, over 300 of you voted, and it was a close one. It was a close one. Some of you have some love for the little shuttle. Um, however, some of you feel that uh, its time has come. Needless to say, either way, we're going to do something with it. It's going to be repurposed and put on the, the commuter line. So we'll throw the vote up. That's probably a bit of a giveaway. I'm not very good at suspense, am I? Dear, oh dear. There we go, guys. 48% say no. Do not keep the, the Minneapolis shuttle. So we're going to get rid of it. The line. The train, as I said, is going to be repurposed. As We'll see shortly why that is. It's a bit busy on the commuter line. Uh, although 43% of you did want to keep it. But technically, we're sort of keeping it. It's just not the line itself. And uh, 27 of you, or 8%, said dealer's choice, even though I did possibly forget the apostrophe on that. I think that's right, isn't it? It should be an apostrophe. Never mind. No one said anything. Oh, dear. I was, I was struggling then, trying to meet deadlines. And that's what, that's what slipped through. So thank you, everyone, for voting. We'll sort that out today and remove the line itself. I did have some good ideas. Now, some of those wouldn't technically work as I have the four track rule as we're staring at right now for this series. And had we not had that, it would have been cool to have like a, uh, a single train running backwards and forward on a dedicated line. But that would have obviously made the main line five tracks and breaks rules. I mean, we've got to stick to the rules. We've got to. So, yes, this is the final time I'll be updating the save game today. We've still got two more episodes after this before we head off to Switzerland, as you all voted for earlier in the season, in the series. It's not really a season, is it? No. It is our first series. This junction, I can't believe it. It's, when we first did this, would have been very early on in the series. And it was very quiet. And there's only a few trains running down here. Now, it, it's quite busy and we, we had to build a flyover. With this in mind, we did it. Well, you guys didn't know it at the time, but I had this plan all along. I know. Ah, there we go. There's the express line. I was like, how long can you uh, get this uh, intro running that long? We're, we're, I'm happy now. Right, let's bring up the UI. We've unlocked a ferry. Now, this is important. It's probably the one we're going to have on here. Uh, but not in the... Oh, that was it. The other high speed line. I was just daydreaming. I woke up with the mother of all colds. So, hopefully I don't sound too bad today. And I'm still not sure whether this episode is going to be making it all the way to the end. I recorded the intro like five times and just kept coughing and sneezing. Not good. It's been brewing, hasn't it, the my cold for the last few episodes. It finally came to a head this morning, so hopefully I get rid of that in time for my vacation. It's, it's typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. So what are we doing today? Well, we've got to get rid of the shuttle. Well, not get rid of it, but uh, repurpose it. We are getting rid of the line. Where is the shuttle? It was going this way, wasn't it? Is it on the way back? There it is. Oh, you served as well, little shuttle. Let's get on board. Well, not on board. Let's fly with it. Oh, no, you lost it. Actually, we can do this, can't we? Oh, there's the inside view. This is why I had to do a cab view. Otherwise, it would look like this. It's all right. It's not fantastic. The problem is it doesn't draw some of the scenery, so it looks a bit bizarre at times. Maybe they'll fix that at some point. But anyway, we've got to get out of here. Get off. Get off the train. 
as soon as it pulls in it's busy i know it's busy but we're gonna get those people shuffled across onto our commuter because it does the same thing and now that we've got the intercity service that takes a lot of passengers away uh, from the main service the commuter service and so they're not they're not bums on seats are they no which uh, gives us a little bit more room and capacity on the commuter come on get through the trees there you go now we are going to stop you there oh <laughs> two people are going to be vaporized that's not what happens that's not what happens they, <laughs> they teleport yeah we'll, we'll go with teleport and uh we're gonna swap this train over onto the commuter don't worry it will not look like this it will look like it's uh, fellow trains right you are now on the midwest main line and you should find your way you're off from minneapolis we're gonna re redo the train similar to these ones wherever they are oh look at that that might be perfect timing the other commuters just coming down there he's gonna head straight off and not stop and hopefully get over before we do that there is something we've got to keep an eye on up here one of the coal and iron trains is bugged there he is yes I noticed this before the recording started it was when we changed the junction so we need to we need to change the orders of this uh, manage line and make sure that they do that and only load at 50 percent just in case any bugs happen such as that there we go he'll do that and get confused however he should then move off come on go there we go he'll go and pick up an odd number of iron iron anyway uh, let's take a look no we're ahead on coal there is more steel going along to the steelworks than I thought there would be. We're going to have to add another truck on there, aren't we? Manage vehicle. Let's let's uh, get another one. What we got the most of the dark ones, or oh, I think they're even, aren't they? Well, yeah. Just do you. There we go. We'll add another truck on there. We do get more trucks that unlock, which brings me nicely to what's happening for the remainder of the series. As I said, there's three videos left this one which is the final where we're playing the game game sort of thing and then next up we have i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward time until the very last uh, vehicle unlocks for the us and then we'll take a look at those for an episode we'll get all the modern vehicles on these are not the final commuter uh, there is another electric one that unlocks another loco electric loco so these were just a temporary thing so we could take a look at them they're not the uh, final commuter which is why i'm leaving the believe it or not the shuttle on wherever he is where are you he only runs slightly slower he might bunch up there he is it's got an amazing amount of capacity so it really works as we were struggling a little bit oh yes we have to get rid of this line <laughs> almost forgot if you don't get rid of it it will uh, they'll keep queuing for it until you put a train back on so we're going to get rid of the line there it goes it's gone so yeah so that's one thing done now we need to go and check on these how are they doing we still need another truck on here that's fine we get some specialist trucks unlocked later on which are much better at this than uh, these big rigs they're like little little tippers but anyway uh yeah we should add another one on here how many we got oh i added the wrong one on you burk that was supposed to be steel well this works then because we're a bit behind right you get on there as well i want to tidy that up a bit how's the coal doing i don't want to leave you with a, a, a broken save that would be terrible ah coal coal is working lovely since we upgraded the trucks they've got slightly shorter distance to travel this should be steel shouldn't it yeah we need more of these oh you've only got four on there no wonder no not all of them that would be crazy we do want another one on there though there we go guys we've got our new commuter it is the hhp8 
this came on because I wanted to just take a look at the train itself. Um, it's, it wasn't staying for long. It's a lovely train, I will say that. But it is going to be no more. We're going to replace them with those. And it will be electrified again. Let's manage the line. We are going to change you all to these. And we're going to have the West Rail West Fleet. That's such a mouthful. Uh, passenger wagons on the back. We want a decent capacity, but since we've got more on there, we don't need to overdo it. I'll say one more. We'll have six. Let's see what that does for our... Yeah, there you go. That is absolutely fine, isn't it? Perfect. Replace all those. Spend all the money. There we go, guys. This is what our final commuter was going, going to look like. Now you know why I didn't choose these carriages as well. Well, aren't you beautiful? There's our... Uh, that, this is probably going to be the end of that. The, the end of changing those. Unless you go into the workshop and find any relevant uh, uh, locos you'd like in there. Look at how busy it is, though. This is perfect timing, isn't it? Because it is super busy. Do we fit on the platform? Well, we could have possibly put another carriage on there. But what are the details like when you are full? You can see the weight go up as people get on. There you go. Isn't that cool? Passengers are indeed cargo. <laughs> yes. So, which is why this will change. Uh, when it's full. Compared to what you see when you're purchasing it. Or, or uh, messing them out with the, the change consist tool. It doesn't report the full load. Which it po possibly should really, shouldn't it? That's what you're buying it for. Uh, cab view is not bad, is it? Not how seats do. Oh, I saw his feet. I saw his feet. Where is his feet? Really not necessary, Grand. No one needs to see his feet. There we go. There's our train. Do we like that? I absolutely do. It's the one I've been waiting for. And it all makes sense now. And uh, thank, thanks to you guys and your voting, we get four of these on there again as we repurposed the other one. We're in with that done. Ah, there's something I've been promising. I believe since I built this area, since we're back over here, I do want to keep an eye on it. There we go. I think we're about about done now. They will catch up as we have a couple of new trucks on there. But I always said I was just going to do a little bit of detail in here, and I never did. And it's towards the end of the series, and I still haven't done it. So uh, let's get the assets deleted thing, and we can get rid of the trees on the edge here because I would like to make it look a little bit like rock and dirt. There we go. Well, this bit's done for us. That's nice. And uh, I, I kind of like the trees on the ledge. That works. But it's just a... a t I like this. It's just a tiny bit of detailing. And we'll get some more rock. We don't need it giant like that. And we'll drop down the strength. Probably not that much. There we go brush could be a little bigger we'll put some rock along the sides as well like that as though we cut into the side of the uh, hill here which we technically did didn't we there we go then we can get the where's the scree there's the scree it just gives it a little bit more texture but it refuses to paint on the ah i know why it is painting here but this tree is preventing it so if you get rid of the ones at the edge, you'll see you get a, a better a rock finish or rock base to it. There we go. Sometimes it's alright to leave them. You might want them like that. But for me, now I've overdone it a little bit. There we go. Just colour that back in with rock. Now we know we've got a bit of a better edge. Yeah, there we go. And we've got a... I like this. I don't know how I did it, but I like it. Like a little ledge. It looks fantastic. All that for a little bit of scenery. Now, talking of scenery, this section gave me an idea. As we drove around on the cab ride, this all looked a bit bare, and I, I wasn't sure what to do with it. We're about at sea level here. We we're not too high, just six meters above sea level. So I had the bizarre idea to make this a lake or a little pond. But uh, we don't really have any inland water, do we, barring our our Mississippi, our version of the Mississippi over there. So if we get this and we go with square and we stick the strength right up, we can make a bit of a hole 
it'll look awful to start with. Once you've made your hole and got the desired amount of water, you can use the, the flatten tool to go from this point, because you know it works, and we can draw us, right, make that a bit bigger, it'll be quicker, draw us a bit of a, a bit of a pond. It all looks a bit square at the moment. We're gonna sort that and tidy that up before we're done. I haven't done much of this, have I, through the, through the series. I thought we'd end with it and give you something nice on the map if you want to play it yourself. There we go, that's all done. Then we can go with the smoothing tool, go back to this and drop the strength down a touch. And then we can just take the edges off and give it a little bit of a better embankment up to the track there, which I love. That's why I over overshot the size of it as well. You see it's actual water. I don't think it will put any fish in. Unfortunately, it would be a nice little, little place to have fish in here, wouldn't it? But you can hear the sound effects. It's all proper water. Take that out, tidy that up a bit. There you go. It doesn't do a bad job with uh, adding water, but it does make a bit of a mess of the embankments when you do it that way. I like it. Now, sand isn't, it looks a bit like sand, isn't really what I would like there. We just want it to be a kind of pool of water for the floods, perhaps, when it rains. I know there's no rain on our map, but uh, we, we could do it anyway, can't we? So we can go with uh, some grass and put that in over there. There we go. That's nicer. This is dark grass. We're gonna we're gonna kind of blend it in to the existing grass. Could you be a little stronger? I just want to paint you in to start with, and then we can deal with the the transition in afterwards. There we go. We've got a bit of a border there. Then we can switch to the default grass that's mainly everywhere. I like it. I like it. There we go. It doesn't look quite so bizarre now. And there's our little little pond. So when you drive by, you've got a little pond in the middle. You could put an island in there as well. Uh, but I like that. We'll give it a little bit of an embankment where the grass isn't growing. Uh, you want the size a bit bigger than that. There we go. Strength down a touch. Just give that a better edge to it. Not really ideal for that to be sand, is it? It'd be more like dirt. I like that better. There we go. Right, zoom out. We don't really want uh, the the corally effect in there, do we? No, let's just let's just get rid of that. Make it a little darker underneath. Beautiful. There you go, guys. A lovely a lovely inland water section. Which should look beautiful on your cab rides, should you want to play that. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, I didn't cut the grass here. Either that or I planted more, which is quite possible. Uh, that's a little too small. Go with... No, it's not. Go with that. 100%. Get the ballast. Like that. There we go. Cut the grass. Beautiful. There we go. Do you like our water? Do we have a commuter train on the way? Typically, no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yes we do. There he is. Maybe we'll end with that. Yeah, we'll end with that. Right, what else have we got to do that I've been promising? That is, I, we've got our eternal shunter that now reverses. Do you know what we could do? Give it a bit of a spruce up, shall we? Bless its heart, it's been doing, doing a fine job. No rocks there been doing a fine job we need to upgrade this train with our new wagons we unlocked right let's modify this this is our you're welcome oh have they started tooting their horns out of stations now or is it only when they reverse i don't know what that is all about yeah anyway this train with its electric loco is the one that could make the most use out of the new wagons so we're going to manage the vehicles on here. It has two different loads, so we can take a look at uh, two different types of the new new cargo wagons. We've got a, our flatbeds and our boxcars. So we're going to put these on. Uh, we could have some coloured, couldn't we? Make them a tallish colour. Uh, capacity, should we go for 100? And then we'll do the same with the state cars. We'll have some the default colour. And we'll have some red for the bricks there we go 200 capacity what do they currently have 
they have... Oh, they have more than that. Is this going to be too heavy for them? Should we just put extra ones on? Why not? We'll put a red one on as well. There we go. We've increased the capacity of that. It now carries 240. It might be a bit heavy for it, but we'll see. Uh, it's currently saying that train would be... Uh, where are we? Mediocre. But it gets up to speed. No, that's fine. We'll have to see what it's like for. There we go, guys. We have trains capable. Cargo trains capable of 99 miles an hour. Isn't that wonderful? We'll take a look when he gets in here at the new wagons. Uh, it might be tempting to to sort of electrify more of the, the freight. But for my series, given where we are, it's... It, it's probably more common that freight is not electrified and is limited between 70 and 75. Maybe even less in some places. So we're just going with that. Oh, it's got all the tools inside. You caught me having a drink of my coffee game. I love this. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, I love that. There we go, and we've got picking up all the bricks. Hopefully we fit at the other platform, because we are a bit longer now. And we do indeed carry to capacity, because we do this little uh, diversion here. There we go, let's see if we get up to anywhere close to 99 miles per hour. Now, I'm going to say, it doesn't matter if we do, really. It will be useful, considering the speed of our, our new commuter service. But not really a big deal. We make so much money from our from our entire network. But this is fine. Oh, I believe some of you... Oh, don't move it. Well, actually, you can have a look. There goes our Maz buses. We need to take a look on those, see if they're actually uh, earning any money. Remind me after this. Yeah, I'm hoping it d does go past 75, though. Considering how much more of a load we've got on there. And then that, that's faster, isn't it? Yes, I like it. Come on, you can do 75. It's, it's probably going to struggle, to be fair. But if it goes past 75, it's better. It, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to go past. Brilliant. We might hold up the commuter service, but it is on the slow, it's running on the slow line. That's what the commuter service does. So that our our high speed, the two fast lines in the middle, are, are reserved solely for our our intercity vanity train. That's it's not though. It does serve a purpose, like I said earlier. Hopefully, our coal trains and iron trains have uh, fixed themselves. Oh, do you know we're getting up to 87, 88? There we go. Oh yes. Oh, that gave me a happy. Oh, talking of high-speed trains, when we unlock all the vehicles, the remaining vehicles, in the next episode to take a look at, the Avelia, the spanky new train that's coming to the US soon, in real life, doesn't handle our track. There's so much grade chain. You need a flat, straight track, uh, similar to what you'd have to do for a bullet train. It does not like our tracks. It's, it's a bit of a spoiler, but it's quite rubbish for our tracks. It barely gets up to 120. It does a top speed of 186, but like I said, you'd need a specialised track for that. And the Midwest isn't isn't the place for it. Not this series. We're going to get around to stuff like that, though. Fear not. And who knows, we might have a race with all the fastest trains on a straight bit of track as a, a separate thing. There we go. I'm happy with that, guys. You struggle a bit. What I wanted to check, which is why we stayed on board, is if we've got to uh, adjust this a touch. We have got to do it by the looks of things. Yep, let's pause that. I'm going to extend this platform. Hopefully, we can extend it a little further. Yes, we can. That should be enough for us, shouldn't it? Platforms. There we go. He should pull up a little more, although we don't know now because he's, he's concertinaed himself. He might unconcertina when he flips, and then we'll find out for sure. Guys, I don't want to leave you a broken map. These trucks do get replaced as well in the next episode. 
Well, you get to unlock them yourselves if you play along. We'll have a go on this map. What are you going to do? Are you going to be... Oh, that's close, but it's perfect. You will not have any issues there. So we've done all the detailing. We've tidied up. This looks like it's supposed to be now. We've even got our, our first little bit of inland water there. Like a little lake. You can put some trees around the side as well. That'll be kind of cool. I will try and find us a, a cab ride at the end on the commuter that's going that way. Get down here. There's GT Towers. How are we doing? Score of 31. I'll scroll down. You can take a look yourself. There we go. We do have charts as well. Uh, we've got our balance, our bank balance. We started with nothing, just a loan. And we've ended up with, ooh, lots. Two billion total is our value. That's crazy. Tracks. Now, this splits it up into tunnels, bridges, high speed, electric, and total. Is this meters? Possibly. 140,000 meters of track laid. Towns. Our map started, there we go, population. With a total all four towns this is with 741 little sims walking around and we're we're going to end close to come on get on the blue get on the blue get on the green i mean about 3,000 people now on a small map now i've said this before um i'm gonna say it again i this is the most fun i've had in a while gaming wise just playing the game in transport fever i enjoy my detailing a lot but it kind of takes away from the having to juggle your finances uh, especially when you do it uh, uh, with no cost on so it's been thoroughly enjoyable not only that it's a small map i did not think for the life of me that i would enjoy a small map i was quite anxious to see how it panned out but guys let's turn off all the uh the gubbing oh yeah you could do it with the uh, alt alt g there we go now, for the final episode, we'll have a bit of a flyby. I'll put together a flyby of, of the map, of this version of the map, and I'll, I'll tack that on to the end of the... Uh, tack that on? That sounds like... I just threw it on there. No, it's, it's going to take some doing. But we'll have a flyby, and what I'm hoping to do is, is get the evolution of the map. So the beginning, somewhere in the midpoint, and the end and sort of fade through them as we as we fly down the uh the, the main line so yes what was i saying before i got thoroughly distracted you no i'm, I'm more distracted because big boy needs I, I thought about getting rid of him but he does his top speed is 75 but the actual loco's top speed is 86 maybe we uh because we can't actually buy big boys anymore without installing the no cost mod which is uh urban games has a a mod that comes with the game that that removes the no cost no end year as i say no cost i mean i meant no end year dear oh dear well, fuzzy head from the cold that's what i'm blaming it on but anyway should we uh should we modify this I'm going to go ahead and modify it and we're going to stick these on that do 99 because our big boy can do 86 I believe is his top speed something around there so I'm going to go ahead and do that there we go guys two identical trains now you see it does 81 miles per hour we'll get those on it's probably going to struggle a little bit let's be fair uh, details mediocre yeah but it'll do a job it'll do a job it kind of stays out the way and I want to keep it on there because it's a sort of our working heritage line, shall we say. Oh, look at you. There's our new wagons, guys. This is the default colours. That's what you uh, get when you buy them without choosing a cut. Oh, look at the state of you. Do you know what we need to do? We absolutely need to give these a little bit of restoration. It is probably close to when the, the big boy was restored, right? And brought back into onto the onto the lines uh we'll we'll keep an eye on him come back over the, the remaining two episodes the final episode is going to be modded i'm going to find us a few mods that are relative that are relative to the map so uh, the midwest and that would be canadian pacific mods there are a few 
and we're going to put those in. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we'll also put some quality of life things and just take a look at those. Ready for Switzerland, where we're going to have the quality of life mods and, and a few uh, Swiss specific. <laughs> I'm glad I attempted that. Swiss specific. Oh, don't try it again. You, you nailed it first time and then you absolutely butchered it. And so we'll, we'll take a look at a few of the mods to finish off the series. And uh, at the very end, there'll be a, an evolution of the map flyby where we go uh, and take a look at how it all began and how it all ended. I mean, you could take a look yourself as well through the beginning of the series if you're new to it. There goes our trucks. Ah, there we go. We're keeping up a little bit better with our steel. I like it. It's very busy here, isn't it? I like it. Yes. Wonderful. There goes our new train. There goes our big boy who's getting a bit of a spruce up. How are you looking? Oh, yes. Look, he's starting to look better. Almost like brand new. Isn't that wonderful? As I said, a few things you could do with this map. This section could certainly be electrified. But I like it as it is. We have kind of a mixture, don't we, now running on the map. Different trains. I kind of like them beat up like that, though, when they're... Uh, they're I mean, they're workhorses, aren't they? That's what they're doing. I, I do feel like we could maybe have faster trains on here, though. You know what? We're going to uh, we're gonna upgrade them. Because this is supposed to be some sort of an express-ish train. Technically, it should be electrified, but that would be a monstrous task. But feel free to do it uh, yourselves. And let me know how it goes. I would imagine it would be all right. It doesn't really run to capacity, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, I'd like to get rid of these locos, and we're going to stick uh, the... The big diesels on these overkill possibly oh well, i'll leave them csx colors they'll be fine there we go done they, they should give a, they should handle themselves a little better now it, and it looks cool i like it there we go oh is that is that where you're gonna stop or are you stopping at this platform? I never even, I never even uh, check. Yeah, I think you're stopping at the wrong platform. Stop there. There we go. Oh dear, I never even checked. That's kind of cool though, right? That he stops there. I, <laughs> has that been going on all the since the beginning? I never even noticed, guys. Now he fits in quite beautifully. He's got a bit more oomph to him with that uh, logo on the front, and I like that. So there we have it. Oh, where did my voice go? So there we have it. Uh, everything is running much smoother. Our passengers are being dealt with now. There we go. They've all gone across. It's not like the freeway is any busier. It is busy. I was supposed to look at how the Maz was doing as well. I keep... I don't, I don't purposefully keep going through past this uh, lake. Here he is. This is our... Um, yeah, our intercity service. That goes direct all the way to Bloomington. No, it's not. That's our little short. Where is it? Oh no, I've lost him. Well, we could go from here, couldn't we? It's the Bloomington to Hibbing Express. There are people on it. There's not many. <laughs> yeah, you're not really making as many, but you're, you're kind of more for scenery, aren't you? Let's go and take a look at him. There he is. Oh, well, you're looking a bit beat up there as well. Let's give you a little bit of a, a makeover as well. I mean, we can afford it. Buses and uh, trams and things are not our big money earners. We don't. They're just there to serve to serve the cities, and then we make our money with the with the, the freight. Really, that's our big thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, planes. Yes, that brings me neatly, <laughs> fine and finally, to the final episode where we're we're modded. But we are going to do some things in the next episode and in the final episode. 
We're having an airport, a, a small commuter airport. I don't want to do it on this map because this is, the, like I said, the final save. And I wanted to keep this map true to the series before we go and play with some new toys on it. But we're having an airport down here, just there. And we're having another airport right up here. There's a place for it, just there. Just far enough away from the city. Then we'll build us a little light rail service into the town. Uh, same for Bloomington. And then we have a direct flight. We have so many different ways then to get direct from Bloomington to Hibbing. That's going to cost us a fortune. However, if we look at our, our bank balance, in general, we're making 56. I don't know what the maintenance is. Oh, that is the that is including maintenance. Wow, we're making nearly 200 million on tickets. And then we've got vehicle maintenance, track maintenance, maintenance infrastructure, and the same for the roads and stuff. There we go. Wonderful. So yeah, we're, we're making enough money. This is just me buying things. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, that has been an enjoyable map for me. More than, more than I gave it initial credit for. I thought it would be a short series. I thought I would uh, possibly just throw some tracks down and go, oh, that was fun. Bit of mainline. But I really got into that. And I'm hoping to do something similar when we head to Switzerland. Uh, before the end of the month, hopefully. I've got my vacation coming up starting Thursday. I've got Railway Empire coming. But I've already recorded the first three episodes that all my vacation. So yeah, there's at least something on the channel. And Frostpunk is returning for those that enjoyed that. I, I'm going to finish that playthrough up. It'll be fairly short. Um, Frostpunk playthroughs. Uh, oh, the, the scenarios are not that long. So we'll we'll get that done and see where that takes us. Are we going to end with a beautifully shiny big boy? There we go, guys. Are you pleased with our working heritage line? I promised you I'd keep a steam train on. Way back in the early episodes. Anyway, details. Should we uh, should we get rid of your extortionate? Uh, there we go. Very high. Extortionate charges. We'll keep you fairly nice looking. How about that? Oh, guys, I, it's a shame to say goodbye, but at the same time, we've got so much, so much fun to have on our next map. Again, this is just goodbye to the game itself. Uh, not the game itself. What are you talking about, man? This is just goodbye to the map as, as a game, uh, following all the rules vanilla and actually why don't you just there we go yes following all the rules in vanilla there's not a mod in sight we've played it on medium admittedly uh, we did want some progress in the game hard mode is fine it just slows things down a little bit as with any game of this nature but yeah guys like i said uh Keep an eye out on the final episode, which will be episode 40. That's nice and neat round number. Where we take a look at mods and do some crazy things to uh, to the map, including put an airport in and a, a ferry service running down the Mississippi. That's gonna that's gonna stop at. Uh, I believe it's gonna run from here up to there. I haven't quite worked it out yet can't remember if we can get under there I'll, I'll figure something out guys it'll be lovely and we'll have a little plane flying around as well and we'll finally have some uh, some Canadian Pacific uh, liveried stuff on here as well yeah but uh, that's been that oh I'll miss you I'll miss your Midwest mainline in this state <laughs> without the mods and stuff but it, it's been one hell of a ride. And that's that. This final save will be going up uh, today. And you know, play around with it. Have fun. Do do some crazy things. You can always load it back up if you make a mess of it. Uh, experiment. Do some of your uh, ideas. Such as 
such as flyovers and fly and flyovers for the shuttle, for instance, or fly under, or uh, perhaps run a tram all the way down. There's been plenty of ideas in the comments. I would have liked to have tried them all out. However, time is a thing, and we do need to move on and take a look at uh, new maps, some mods, different styles of playing. But yes, for that, should we end with a cab ride? Uh, going past our lake up here. And the timing is wonderful. Oh, you can't do it like that, can you? Pause it, pause it, because this timing... That has been episode 38. Two more to go. And then we'll say goodbye to the Midwest Main Line. And that is beautiful. Oh, what a way to send this map off. I will, as I said, I will update the save game and you can uh, mess about with that. And until next time, take care.